Drinking plenty of tea may reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Does diet soda affect weight loss efforts? What says the reports? Welcome to my channel Mani Films. Like and subscribe share. Welcome to my channel Mani Films. Drinking a lot of tea might lessen the gamble of creating type 2 diabetes outline. Drinking at least 4 cups of dark, green, or oolong tea every day was related with a 17% lower hazard of creating type 2 diabetes. A methodical survey and meta-examination of 19 partner studies including more than 1 million grown-ups from 8 nations observes that moderate utilization of dark, green or oolong tea is connected to a lower hazard of creating type 2 diabetes. The discoveries being introduced at the current year's European Relationship for the Investigation of Diabetes EASD, yearly gathering in Stockholm, Sweden, 19 to 23 sept, recommend that drinking no less than 4 cups of tea daily is related with a 17% lower chance of T2D over a normal time of 10 years. Our outcomes are energizing since they propose that individuals can accomplish something as basic as drinking four cups of tea daily to possibly diminish their gamble of creating type 2 diabetes says lead creator Shang Li from Wuhan College of Science and Innovation in China. While it's for some time been realized that consistently drinking tea might be advantageous for well-being due to the different cancer prevention agent. Mitigating and anti-carcinogenic intensifies tea contains, less clear has been the connection between tea drinking and the gamble of T2D. To address this vulnerability, specialists led a partner study and a portion reaction meta-examination to all the more likely characterize the connection between tea utilization and future T2DM risk. In the first place, they concentrated on 5,199 grown-ups. 2,583 men, 2,616 ladies, without any set of experiences of T2D, normal age 42, from the China Well-Being and Nourishment Study CHNS, who were selected in 1997 and followed until 2009. At the beginning, members filled in a food and drink recurrence survey and gave data on way of life factors like standard activity smoking and liquor utilization. Generally, 2,379 46%, members announced drinking tea, and toward the finish of the review, 522 10%, members had created T2D. Subsequent to adapting to factors that are known to be connected with expanded hazard of T2D, similar to progress in years, sex, and actual latency, scientists found that tea consumers had a comparative gamble of creating T2D contrasted with non-consumers. Also, the outcomes didn't change essentially when dissected by age and sex, or when members who created diabetes during the initial three years of follow-up were avoided. In the following stage of the review, the scientists did a precise survey of all companion concentrates on examining tea drinking and the gamble of T2D in grown-ups, matured 18 or more established, up to September 2021. Generally speaking, 19 partner studies including 1,076,311 members from 8 nations, 1, were remembered for the portion reaction meta-investigation. They investigated the possible effect of various sorts of tea, green tea, oolong tea, and dark tea, recurrence of tea drinking, under 1 cup slash day, 1 to 3 cups slash day, and at least 4 cups slash day, sex, male and female, and the area of the review, Europe and America, or Asia, on the gamble of T2D. Generally, the meta-investigation found a straight relationship between tea drinking and T2D risk, with some tea drank each day diminishing the gamble of creating T2D by around 1%. When contrasted and grown-ups who didn't drink tea, the individuals who drank 1 to 3 cups day to day brought down their gamble of T2D by 4%, while the people who polished off no less than 4 cups consistently decreased their gamble by 17%.
In general, the meta-examination found a direct relationship between tea drinking and T2D risk, with some tea drank each day lessening the gamble of creating T2D by around 1%. Picture is in the public space the affiliations were noticed no matter what the sort of tea members drank, whether they were male or female, or where they resided, proposing that it could be how much tea consumed, as opposed to whatever other variable, that assumes a significant part. While more exploration should be finished to decide the specific measurement and systems behind these perceptions, our discoveries propose that drinking tea is valuable in decreasing the gamble of type 2 diabetes, however just at high dosages, no less than 4 cups per day, says Lee. In spite of the significant discoveries, the creators note that the review is observational and can't demonstrate that drinking tea diminished the gamble of T2D, yet proposes that it is probably going to contribute. Furthermore, the specialists highlight a few provisos, including that they depended on emotional evaluations of the amounts of tea consumed and they can't preclude the likelihood that lingering frustrating by other way of life and physiological variables might have impacted the outcomes. The subject of the utilization of sugar and on what amount, is generally famous discussion. It has over and over demonstrated that the more sugar we consume, the more calories we ingest bringing about weight gain. It's just normal that if we have any desire to get more fit, we ought to find a sugar substitution that is basically as heavenly as sugar however doesn't have the calories. Throughout the last 10 years, individuals have vigorously inclined towards sand sugar choices to limit the admission of calorie without diminishing the pleasantness of a delicacy. Subsequent to understanding the dangers that comes from refined table sugar, individuals moved their way to deal with normal sugars like honey, maple syrup, agave, and jaggery. Yet, it could likewise mean for individuals who love sugar might gorge the deserts for the sake of practicing good eating habits. Thus, while depending on the advantages of the moment measure of supplements found in regular sugars, the overutilization can prompt heftiness and other way of life sicknesses too. Nonetheless, there have been plentiful measures of uncertain or irrelevant outcomes, and the FDA has since supported up to 8 sugars for food-added substances. Most sugars utilized in diet items are extreme focus sugars. One of these famous sugar is stevia, these are 250 to 300 times better than table sugar. An article named Well-Being Ramifications of Fructose Utilization, asserted that our everyday suggested admission of sugar ought to be under 50 grams of fructose. Fructose is not restricted to counterfeit sugars, it's likewise found in high amounts in normal sources like agave, a kind of plant. This emerges the inquiry assuming food sources improved with focused energy sugars that terrible? As a matter of fact, in the event that you are searching for an improved substitute to sugar, particularly in the event that you're attempting to shed pounds without rolling out extraordinary improvements in way of life, counterfeit sugar are helpful whenever consumed in lower amount. For the individuals who love liquor, yet are keeping away from it because of well-being concerns, tasting on a jar of pop can be a gentle type of joy.